This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Uh, this is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. <laughs> Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. And welcome to another episode. Let's go ahead and get into it because a lot happened this past week and uh, it's a lot to talk about. Yeah. That's how I feel. Okay, well, get started then. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You're rubbing your hands again. Like, I, I mean, where do you start? Meek Mill is out. Uh, J. Cole album drop. Yeah. And Waffle House is losing their motherfucking minds. Can so, we also, I would just love to take a moment to acknowledge that, um, oh man, I lost my train of thought. Um, Kendrick won a Pulitzer, Pulitzer, Prize. Pulitzer Prize. Isn't that amazing? Huge. Hey man, Huge. affirmative action. First of all, I didn't even know that that was possible. Affirmative, affirmative action. <laughs> Black people won't even think about Anything a Pulitzer possible. Prize, That is period. ridiculous. Which one? Which part? I'm not going to let you do Name that. another album that Black got Pulitzer. Black people won't think about I, no I, Pulitzer That's what I'm Prize. saying. So may, no, but it's I'm never just saying. Won one. Do you think it's Damn deserved a Pulitzer over a lot of other albums that came out? I'm not saying Damn was a bad album, but this is the one. That's affirmative action. Come on, man. They were like, you know what? You're, you're tuned See, up. They're like, you're tuned up and ready to go. Anyway. They're like, black people need to win. You all right, are tuned all right, up. No, that is not. That is <laughs> not. He's warming up. No, that is black not. Black people need to win. We're going to give them this Pulitzer. That's never been done. Come on. It's never been done. Cardi B saying. is fucking co-host and Jimmy Fallon, <laughs> and this dude wins a Pulitzer for a rap album. But it was a very, very impactful rap album. More so that than was Good Kid, Mad City? Civil Disobedient. It's kind of like the... It was a, a great... Yeah. More so I than How to Pimp a Butterfly? Uh, you see what I'm saying? I don't want to go down that path because that's a conversation in its own. Okay. It really is. Like, which which Kendrick album is best? I still rock Section 80, personally. Me too. But, you know. But, 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 but are you saying that the content wasn't more socially conscious? Damn. No, all of his shit is. I socially know, but conscious. I'm just saying the timing. I don't know. I just think the timing, especially with con- well, considering what's been going on. <laughs> Next year, Cardi's gonna get that Pulitzer. No, she's you know not. Nah, no, son. She's Nobel not. Peace nah, Prize. Son. Cardi I do B. Enjoy Cardi's album. <laughs> what else happened? I am riding with Cardi. Shout out <laughs> to Kendrick happened? for winning the no, Pulitzer Prize. No, shout out for real. That's, that's, that's dope. Stop saying affirmative action. That's affirmative action. Oh my but god. But that's dope though. That's we bullshit. we deserve to win. We needed to win. Write him angry letters. Please send emails. That's ridiculous. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're you not. know that that's come on. You know that's a stretch. A Pulitzer Prize? Come on, that's a stretch. Check out. Is that is that a Confederate flag? Do you know anything else on, that's on, won a Pulitzer Prize? Do I know what? Anything else that's won a Pulitzer Prize? A rap album? None. Any? No. Anything. Period. Do you? Anything else that happened? <laughs> Do you? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, so we just Do you? I know in the hey, rap album. Yo. You have nothing to compare it to. I just know that, that rap albums don't win Pulitzer Prizes, but now but they do. Maybe they should. Time to take. What do you mean the they fact. don't? Poetry. Maybe they po- don't. I know literature. According to them, they do. Literature. Literature and rap is a form of Photographs, literature. Maybe. Rap is a form of and photographs, yes, but it is a form of the one, artistic expression. I do expression. know something. The little kid who was like bent over and the and the vulture was waiting on him to die, that won a Pulitzer. I do have something to compare it to. Damn is not as impactful as that photograph. Not to me. Yeah, I think it is to a lot of people. Okay. Well, you know. Okay. All right. Affirmative. Well, yeah. I'm saying affirmative, not affirmative action. Like affirmative, like yes. What other bullshit? I'm happened affirming this week? it. Oh, um, Prince. Um They show the video of him dead or whatever, like no, no. There was an article came out that said that Prince didn't know that he was taking the drugs that he was taking, and they decided not to pursue charges. <laughs> like what? What do you mean he didn't know? Opium, he didn't know he was taking op- that drug. He right. knew he was taking drugs, but just not that drug. Right. Okay. It's like it's like say you were issued a prescription. Right. And you're taking these pills. Right. But they're not actually pill, the pills that it says on the bottle. Right. And then that's why uh, you're no longer with us. And uh, and then no one is, like, no one's held responsible. No one's accountable. It's just, eh, well, he's already gone, so uh, fuck it. Uh, I mean, nah. That's some bullshit. They charged Michael Jackson's doctor, so I think that if they had something to... But I think they need to have proof. I don't know. There was a... I, I can't... I, I, I didn't realize we were talking about this, but there is another artist, a white female artist that did a did an interview about Prince. And a lot of people said that he was, you know, doing extra... He had an extracurricular lifestyle. Regardless of what, we just need to let him what rest in peace and let him... What, what extracurricular? Mean? Man, this is Prince. Drugs. Oh, oh, oh. This is Prince in the 80s. 
Prince in the nineties. He was Prince in the two thousands. I'm Prince just saying, let, let him let, just let him let, let him rest in peace. Let him live. You better let say, him, <laughs> let him rest in peace. Where we just let him let rest that in dead peace. man live. Yeah, <laughs> let him right. Let him rest. Damn. I saw a weird video that I I don't even know why this is news. Why people do this kind of stuff? But I guess somebody took a a, a video of his house or his place. So he's on the ground and outside of his oh elevator, and they're blocking out him so you can't see him. Oh my but then God. they're just like panning around the whole room and like showing the people who are walking around or whatever. And Prince is just laying there dead on the ground. They got him blacked out though. So every time he comes around to there, right it's in front black, of the elevator, it's just like a black circle. And then they move it around. It's like, it's, I don't know. Why is that news? I don't know. What the hell were you watching? <laughs> it's a video on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Oh, but you don't know about the Pulitzer Surprise, but you do know about this. I know that Dan okay. won a Pulitzer Surprise, and I'm so proud <laughs> that black people now win Pulitzer Surprises too. Well, black people have always won name, Pulitzer Prizes. Name another Prizes. black Pulitzer Prize winner. I mean, obviously Martin Luther King. That was easy. Obviously. I'm going to Google some shit. And you know, Kendrick and, and Martin and Martin Luther. They have a lot in common. They They're do. leaders of their people. They're both short. They're both black. What else? You are offensive, and I refuse How to. How is that offensive? Short is offensive? No, it isn't. That is Black not is what offensive? they have in common. What do they have they in common? They're both leaders, and people are impacted. Kendrick Lamar is a leader. I do. I think he's a leader. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I think the fact that he makes music that t tells a story and uh -huh. empowers people, because people don't necessarily, we're, we're not in the same age of where people want to go hear pastors preach. Rap artists or people that are in the, in the celebrity um I guess at sphere are seen as the the, the influencers, so yeah. that does allow him to be a more impactful person. I saw a video of Chance again trying to make people believe he's a Christian rapper. Have you, do you believe he's a Christian rapper? He keeps trying though. Who? Chance. He, Chance the rapper. He keeps saying I'm a Christian rapper. He like he's trying to make us believe it. Do you believe that? I, mean, I believe I'll, I'll, you can't. I'll buy how do you it, tell but what? So is Lecrae. Well, Lecrae is, is, is gospel. It's been gospel forever. He but, won a Stellar Award too, right? Yeah. But I, but I don't but think you difference? can say that he's... What, how can you say that he's not if that's what he sees himself as? <laughs> he's just a rapper. How can I mean, you, you say know. he's not? Why? Why? Did, didn't Kanye win a, a Google? Uh, a, what? Didn't Speaking Kanye, of Kanye win a Google? Oh, like some type what? of award for <laughs> Google? I almost said I don't know why I said Google. I just, he said it twice because I was googling. I did. Oh. But didn't Kanye win something for Jesus Walks? Uh, I don't know about that. Gospel? It wasn't a gospel award. Not a gospel award. But speaking yeah. of Kanye, have you guys have you seen Kanye's rants? He's 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 about on Trump social media or whatever. No, he's he's talking about everything. He's oh. just sharing. See, he's this is sharing what I'm saying. Information. There's so much shit going on, man. Like, Kanye, where the fuck he, he had a new he has new fashions coming out. He's making new shoes. I am excited about a Nas album produced by Kanye. Yeah, he mentioned who that he was chopped samples. Yeah, as a he said hand. I am he said he's by chopping it. by hand the samples <laughs> for I, Nas. I do think that could be. I mean, I hope a new Pusha T. I'm I like whatever Nas that. does. Yeah. I like whatever Nas does, and at Tiana Taylor, like he has a whole. Mm -hmm. He's just been working. He's been working. Hopefully, you know this will help him. But he's still Kanye. He's still like he's been tweeting. I think they say he tweeted 112 times in a few days. It's Must just the information. Coming. Yeah, that's that's what that's what people are like. Okay, he wants you got you. He has an album coming out, and he also has some new shoes, some new clogs. Oh yeah, that are like 50, yeah, yeah, Yeezy version of the clogs, clogs yeah. that are like fifteen hundred dollars. Oh yeah, clogs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. The fuck out of here. <laughs> Y'all gonna buy the, some too? I'm not gonna buy yeah. any Yeezy, Yeezys. He hasn't made a pair of shoes that haven't been expensive or ugly well, as duh. fuck. I mean, he's not gonna nah, make the, shoes that the aren't Nike expensive. ones was fresh as hell. Mm. Kanye I, wants I to like compete those. with Louis Vuitton, so he's never going to make anything that's not ridiculously expensive. Didn't he have some Louis Vuittons? He did. He did. Yeah. He did. Mm -hmm. He did. He did. But yeah, but you guys check check out his Twitter feed. It's live. It's on and popping. Yeah, posted. I think all the I think the music begins to drop like the end of May. So and it goes through the summer. Sense. It should be interesting. Yeah, should be good. I'm <laughs> still listening to Cardi B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ring record is a smash. Yeah, I like, that's my favorite record on the right on the on the album. So I know you definitely sent us the video of the the young lady in the uh, Waffle House with the police officers. Right. We were talking about that. We were talking about that in chat, the three of us. And 
I, first of all, I, I just it's it, it's Waffle sad. House ain't safe no more. Well, let's explain. Let's explain what happened for the people who haven't seen it. So, okay. Okay. So and you, and matter of fact, I'll post it to our social media as well. So you can go to you know at Music Love Life Show, and you know you'll be able to find it there. But the video that's going around is of a woman being arrested at a Waffle House. Um, it, the video opens and you'll see her like sitting in a chair and police is like standing over her and kind of grabbing her like around, looks like they were grabbing her arm or, or something around close to her waist, right? And then the next thing you know, they are on the ground wrestling and it's two officers and they're like, it, it, to me, it looked like they were like tearing her dress off because she had one of those dresses where like the shoulders are exposed and it was just kind of here. So her breasts come out. Um, yeah. And so when I first saw the video, I didn't really know what to I didn't know how to receive it. I was like, OK, why the hell are they wrestling with her? What's going on there? Why were they called in the first place? And then I found out some backstory was that she was in Waffle House, and I guess she got her order to go and was being charged extra for the plastic wear. So she told them, mm, nah, this, y'all don't charge for plastic wear. Take this off. And they said, well, yeah, we are. And she said, okay, well, I want to see a manager. And so she sat down and waited for the manager to come. And instead, they called the police. So instead of the manager showing up, the police. she met police. Well, I just want to say that that's, Kevin told a very different story than what I saw when I watched the video. Okay. I, she did have on a, a topless dress. Um, and as most females know, if you have on a topless dress, especially if you're not wearing a bra, you know, your girls and the outside world are not, there's not much between them, you know, especially depending on how low cut the um, the top is. So at the point that you start to go back and forth with someone with a, with a dress on that's topless, I didn't see the officer pull her breast out. I felt like that was just a casualty of war of what was happening. But um, I did feel like it looked inappropriate because she she didn't, it wasn't just a topless, it was very small. She had on a, it was short because when she was sitting down and you see the officer trying to get her to stand up and she ref, she's refusing, um, you can see that she's kind of covering herself, but that's what she came dressed, you know, to the Waffle House in. And then when we learned about the fact that I guess they were charging her for plastic wear, at the point that she didn't want to pay for it, in my opinion, and we didn't see everything that happened after after that. But in the video, her friend is saying, let's just go. Let's just go. She doesn't want to go. She wants to f- prove her point, and which is why they, you know, obviously they call the police. Because even as the police are there and the police are like, no, you're going to get up. She, her friend is like, girl, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. She's going back and forth. Now, the part that bothered me, I think both sides are wrong. The police, there's a statement where the police says, I'm gonna, I'm about to break your arm. That bothered me. And I felt like because she did have on something that was very revealing, the police officers, in my opinion, should have called out a female officer. If you go to the airport and you go through um, this motion detector, they do a, they'll pat you down as a female, but because you are a female, they'll bring over a female person to pat you down. Trust me, I've had some very intrusive pat downs, but it's by a female because that just it just doesn't look right for a male to be doing that. So I felt like I don't feel like she didn't they didn't need to do that because obviously with her friend saying let's just go, she wanted a, a manager and she was not being cooperative, right? Because she was upset. I think a restaurant has, in my opinion, if I say I'm charging you for this and you say no, and I say this is how this is how we do business and you don't want to and you're being loud, then I think that you do have the right to call the police. I think when the police got there and they saw the situation, I don't know if there's some type of protocol, I don't know, but it seems like for two men to be on the ground wrestling with a woman that's almost naked, it... Uh, 
It just doesn't look. look right. Yeah, I don't think they were pulling her dress off. I think she had on a very revealing dress, but I don't think, and I think what bothers me is the statement, I'm about to break your arm. To me, that's a, that was that was that let me know that he was not he was going above and beyond his job, and that was inappropriate. I don't think he said I'm about to break your arm in that in that nuance. I think he was saying more along the lines of, "Put your hands behind your back, otherwise I'm gonna break your arm." Like the way that he was pulling her and the way she was trying to get away. If he moved her arm behind her back, it was going to break. Not because he's trying to break it, but because she's not allowing him mm-hmm. to put her in handcuffs. Which is what his job is. Right. So I think more along the lines, if you listen back again, try to listen to it with my lens. Mm-hmm. And I think he was more, it was more along the lines of, you're going to give me no option but to break your arm because you're going to go in cuffs. And that was my thing is, once the police get there and they say you're under arrest, the fight is over. Right. I think she should have got it. I agree with you as far as that's concerned. But I do think, you know, it just, because like I said, we know when, when you're going through security, whenever there has to be physical contact between a male and a female, and I know this is going to get blonde proportion because now we have so many different definitions of what is male and what is female. So I don't know. I know we don't. Now, I, wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about that. But I just started thinking like people are going to be like, well, what if an officer arrests a you transgender a train, woman? A train oh, oh, still a dude. But I just think that, you know, for her, it, it, was, it looked inappropriate. So that was my thing. But I agree with you in the fact that at the point the officer says, get up, even... As her friend was saying, let's just go. Right. Just enough. And I think a lot of times, especially now, you do have people, it makes it un- unfair for the people that really are being um, unjustly arrested and, right. and taken advantage of when you're just trying to be a, a no, a, you know, difficult and prove a point. If you don't want to pay for the silverware, leave. But but what Kevin said doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know that's the story, but it, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Mm-mm. So she didn't like the amount of she was getting charged. So she said, "I need to talk to a manager, and I'm going to sit down." That doesn't that doesn't sound like somebody who gets the police called on them. Well, no, but we can read between the lines on that because even again, in Alabama, when the police, no, still, I, come on, man, not all the Alabama. time, no, come on, all the time. Yeah, though, yeah, Kevin, I don't like you sitting down. Like, come on, man, that's not why she's the police being were loud called. and being belligerent. She the was police doing officer that. said you've been dropping s bombs since he got since he yeah. got there. She was dropping. She was F-bombs. obviously being belligerent. See, I don't. I, I didn't see that part. I didn't see that in the video. I didn't even hear. Well, you're talking about her friend said. Well, let's just go. I didn't hear, I didn't hear that. I did. You, if you go I didn't back, hear that. we'll play it because I that's that was the part that stuck out to me because wow. I've been with a girlfriend that's doing too much. And, like, let's just get and I'm out like, of here. Yeah. come on, I don't, I don't. They're you blinded know. by rage. They're, so or at they're that just, point, they it's just, just like, are looking for an opportunity to act a fool. You know what I mean? I have a girlfriend that is, you know, I know is like that. And if somebody, uh, uh-uh, it, it just it it's automatically going to go there. So that is, she says that twice. When the police are pulling her. And what is happening is the police are trying to get her to stand up and she's pulling back, which of course makes her dress start to come down because she's resisting arrest. It's, it's, it's simple. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that this, this is like a, a touchy subject because obviously people are arrested unfairly. There are that happens, and it happens far too often to us as African Americans. My problem is if you're acting a fool, you're causing you're causing it to kind of the, the lines to be blurred. You're part of the problem because when someone is actually really arrested unfairly, right. people are far, it's kind of like the boy who craw- cried wolf. <laughs> people are far too um, too lax because they're like, yeah, well, they always are crying wolf. And really, That is not- amazing. I was about to read you guys a fucking story. Look at this. I was about to read a story and I'll tell you wow. what the title of it was. <laughs> and I was going to try to get you to tell me if that's not boy what black people wolf. are doing these yeah. days. And yeah. it literally, listeners, it was the boy who cried wolf. I was going to read that story and see if y'all could see any parallels. But I read it the other day. I just went back and read it. Yeah. It is crying wolf. Here's the crazy part about, about this, this woman. Did she deserve to get arrested for being charged the wrong amount and being upset about it? Of course not. Right. But once they say you're under arrest... It doesn't matter anymore. Name a time. Let's let's. I always apply things to sports. Name a time when a ref calls foul on somebody and they get mad and they argue that they reverse the foul. Now you get a check. Exactly. It never goes the other way yeah. once the foul is there. Right. Once they blow the whistle, it doesn't go back. Yeah, now here's a bitch ass ref. Now ma- maybe now maybe, now maybe yeah. me and you will talk and the ref will be like, hey, okay, I got you next time. That was right. a little, that was a little messed up, right. but since you didn't complain, we good. I understand. I did wrong. I'm gonna take care of you later. That happens. 
The same thing happens with cops. Sports analysis. I have friends. I have friends who have been arrested mm-hmm. and they got let go later because right. they weren't belligerent. Because the cop, the cop is the first thing they're they're trying to do is figure out who called the police, mm-hmm. defuse the situation, and that may initially be you're under arrest. Come sit in my car. Right. We're gonna run your license. We're gonna see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've never been in. You've never been in a police car ever before. Come on, let's talk this out. That can happen. But it's not going to happen if you're like, no, I'm not getting up. No, fuck y'all. Fuck this. this I'm not just paying more money. Y'all, I'm going to see a motherfucking manager or whatever it was right. that she did. I, right. I, we okay. didn't get to hear any of that. But once they say you're under arrest, get the fuck up. And put, It's not going back the other way. You have two choices. Get arrested or get the right. shit beat out of you and get arrested. Right. Those are the choices. And, and then, you know and what? I'm going to say this. As a man, it did not sit well with me to see her being handled in that way. Well, it probably would not sit well like, with I'm you for her not to get her ass up. If How do you handle told- a woman? Have you ever been in a fight with a woman where a woman is being completely ridiculous with you and you're having to compose yourself because you don't want to hurt a woman, but at the same time, she's not giving you much room to not be forceful? Have you ever been in that situation before? Mm-hmm. So how did you handle it? You can't leave now because cops it's, can't leave. So it's not you can't just go out and say, right. I'll be back later. Right. Like they have they have to do Has something. Has anyone considered that maybe we should have female cops handle females? Yeah, but we, we if the call comes in, it's to a cop who's closest. We don't got time to wait on Betty. She's way across they town. They can wait on Betty because they, they can wait on Betty. If you go to an air I have sat at an airport and waited because they had to bring a woman over to That's different. Me. Yeah, you, but you know what? You ever been you ever been arrested? Uh yes. Has ever been arrested by a female cop? No. You ever been like ticketed by a female cop? Maybe. Maybe. If you're, you do you feel like like women cops and women cops have short men syndrome because yeah. they they feel like they have to overdo it to compensate for their femininity or they want you to take them seriously. Some, or some whatever do. I agree. It might be. I agree. I'll give you that. So um, in in terms of that, but that's not this situation. But what I'm saying is though. The only reason why it got like that was because she was not willing to do what she had to do. She had to get up and put her arms behind her back. That's it. Does what I'm saying is once you're under arrest, there is no other thing. You're gonna get up and you're gonna put your arms behind your back. If you don't, whatever happened after this is not my fault. It's your fault. That kid who just got um convicted of like 65 years in prison. He was 15. Did y'all hear about that? Mm-mm. He was 15, and him and another guy. Uh, robbed somebody's house or whatever. Oh, I did. Got into a shootout it. with the cops. The cop kills the older guy who had mm-hmm. the gun. The younger guy got charged with his murder. Yeah, I did hear that. And he's going, yeah. 65 years. Damn. And that's wrong. Of course, that's some crazy shit because he was a 15 year old, first of all. Yeah. Second of all, the cop killed his friend. He was in, in way over <laughs> his head. <laughs> right. But the thing is, though, is once that arrest goes down, it doesn't matter. At this point now, it's all on you. And that's by law, it's on you. You're the reason why this fracas is happening. Fracas. You're, you're the reason. Fracas. You're the reason why your titties are out on the fucking floor. And I would never suck those titties again, ever, ever. How did you bring that? Do you know back? what kind of grease is on a wall? Have you ever? You know when you walk in Waffle House at four a.m. after the you know, club, they got that, it's slide. slide. You slide. slide. Her titties are that now. Her titties her got that slide on. It, it is like a Burger King kitchen. Never. I would never <laughs> suck her titties ever again. Oh my God. I didn't even think about those well, that titties. Video, are I mean, ruined. that video, that video <laughs> has just gone viral. And uh, Waffle House actually, well, from what I've seen, the Waffle House says that they felt like the uh, police arrest was appropriate. Good. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying good. I am good. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to say that. But I do want to, I do want to learn more about the situation. Like I said, it's still growing. And I think right now, in terms of stories, I think that that story has really taken a back seat to the Waffle House killer who, uh, or excuse me, Waffle House shooter that killed uh, a bunch of people Naked. at Waffle House <laughs> in Nashville. Which, crazy enough, that was like, when I used to live in Nashville, that was your like Waffle House? five minutes away from my home. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Wow. Literally, like, you could have thrown a rock and got there. Like, wow. That wow, that, that, dumb that's close. A, that was a that was a horrible story. But I think another we were also texting about that. And I don't want to. I don't want to. I know a lot of listeners. I think I don't want to seem like someone who's not proud of her race, and I am. But I think that we have to be realistic. Everything is not a racial issue, right? You know what I mean. So that guy, he had a lot of problems. He was mentally wrong. The police were wrong when they did not, they took his guns and gave them back to his father, which is how he got the guns. But I don't necessarily think 
that the problem is a racial one. I think he was just a crazy, deranged person who had issues. He was trying to go up to the White House and and, and do stuff. Even if he didn't like black, he probably didn't like a lot of people. He was just a crazy person. He had mental issues. You know what I mean. So do you think? The, yeah. Do you think the black yeah, woman? Do you think the black woman Waffle House thing is racial? Also, I mean, are, are you comparing those? I two? don't know if it's. I don't know if that's racial or not. What I do know is that we can't every we can't pull the race card every time, or it won't, or when it's necessary, because there are a lot of times that it is necessary. It loses its impact if every time something happens to a black person, we say, "Oh, that was race racist," or it's a racial. P- Issue, it was race related. Then we, then we, then we lose the impact when those things really are, because yeah. there are so many things that are just. It just happened to be a black person and a white person. If if a black guy is dating a white girl and the white girl, you know, hits him upside the head and is like, "Forget you," it, it doesn't mean that she did that because he was black. It just could be they're fighting and that they're, you know, it, it's not always. Black and, versus and, and white. You know what? We're we're also talking about two different situations. The the girl on the floor with the policeman. <laughs> I don't know that that was racially motivated. I don't know that he would have been there had they not been called. I don't know if the Waffle House manager was of the same or of a different race. Yeah, the, it, right. It, it could have been somebody just like this loud chick is causing trouble. I don't want to deal with that. Can, can I say, can I qualify why I said good that Waffle House is not backing down? Mm-hmm. This is what I felt like Starbucks should have done as well. Waffle House is not, mm-hmm. they're, why, why are they responsible for her coming in and doing that and then the police coming in? Like like you said in the very beginning, if somebody's belligerent and loud in a the restaurant, they deserve to have the police called on them. You, you said right, that. Right, I agree. So I'm saying good because we call the police for a reason. There was a reason we called but them But I don't out. think Starbucks, I don't think the Starbucks situation was the same, which is why I think Starbucks apologized because it is their policy it's not. to allow people That's to... That's not true. Their policy actually is you buy some if you want to use the bathroom. That's actually their policy. Yeah, but people, but it, it is, and, and they've even mm. said there it is... That's a, their policy. It, to use the bathroom, but people right. sit in Starbucks all you the time without... You on their website? No, listen to what I'm you saying. You saw that? Where did you, where'd you find that? That's what... That, that's Because they're not saying that. They're not that saying is what that. they said. That was, I read that in some article. I read that in a news oh, article. Okay. But there's also That's their articles. Policy. When you when you mm. use the bathroom, you have to be a paying customer to use the we bathroom. We use the bathroom. They, but that's, one of them, but they also one of them said, tried to use the bathroom. That's how it all started, I thought. No, that, I didn't. I'm, I'm really sure. Maybe I should really? read back again. I think that it started because one of them got up to use the bathroom. They're like, we don't allow non-paying customers to use the bathroom. I could be completely wrong, but that's what I read. Maybe it was. Uh, I thought it was because they were they called because they were sitting and they were they they said they, they were loitering. Yeah, they hadn't ordered anything. Right. That was how. But and 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 Starbucks did say there actually was something that went out because because Starbucks said they're doing a whole race relations thing, they're but they said that they day. they still want people to be able to feel comfortable coming in Starbucks even if they have not paid for anything. So they did say that. Now you're right. They do ask you before you use the bathroom, some of them, because there's, 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 it depends on management. And I don't think that's wrong. There are a lot of restaurants where you have to buy something in order to use the bathroom. Yeah, I- Waffle I mean, House is not wrong. But I don't, but and- I don't think, I think Starbucks, it was wrong. Waffle House, I, I think that that was totally different than what happened in Starbucks. Those those guys were not doing anything. They were not being belligerent. They were not causing a scene. They were not cursing anyone out. Mm-hmm. Other people in the store were sitting there saying they haven't done anything. Why have you called the cops? That was the, the general consensus from everyone in the store at that time. This girl is loud, even on the short video. And even when the police have her, I don't care what's going on. As a female, I don't want to be on the ground. So I just, you know, the idea either. that you got to keep... A, as a man, right, as a I'm just like, who wants to be on like... On a fucking get, Waffle House, I'm ruined if I touch that floor. You're not being harassed if someone is arresting you for something that you started right. as a, and you decide, I'm going to make them get me in order to... And then a lot of people play up things for cameras because they're thinking at this point... I'm going to get a lawsuit. I'm going to show them. And that's the wrong attitude. And that's what, to me... That's why I said good, Waffle House. Good job. But you know... Back up see, your people. Okay, so... Well, I, and I'll, I'll get to the, the shooter later. But it seems like... I don't know what what's going on right now, but there's a number of restaurants that are in, in the news right now for denying a person of color uh, service for one thing or another. Right? At Starbucks, it was you hadn't ordered anything. But we come to find out that the manager literally called the police two minutes after they had been there. Um, At Starbucks, that's how it went? Two minutes. Oh, wow. That's crazy. 100 and... 20 seconds. 20 yeah. seconds. You're welcome. There. <laughs> well, you said it before. I, I was going to stretch it out. Oh, but, my bad. It's a dramatic yeah. effect. Say it again. The moment has passed. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> but two minutes. So right. she didn't take long at all. The Waffle House stuff, maybe she was loud. I didn't hear we that. We just didn't see enough perhaps. of the video. Right. And, and it was I a just, short video. From the and, fact that she's sitting there not wanting to get up and he's telling her to come on, he he seemed like he was out of his, mm. he was just in a bad situation. I heard there was another incident at Cracker Barrel. Not surprised. <laughs> come on, man. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> hey, man. First the of crackers all, no one, over, no one over 40 is eating in Cracker Barrel usually. Cracker Under Barrel. or over? Under. Oh, okay. Cracker Bell is usually reserved for the for the um There's families there with kids, but not no no young people are going on their own. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I you know, it's it's unfortunate and I don't think anyone deserves I hate to see situations like that. I would just say we, we have to be we have to be mindful of which incidents we choose to throw our support behind. So that we don't get people pandering for attention. When situations are not racial, you know, it's just you have a bad attitude or, and I'm not, I don't, we didn't see any more of the video, but I'm just saying like. She didn't have a bad attitude once they were there, but I have, I have a, a sneaky suspicion that before those, that camera <laughs> went on, she was cussing. And she that's was, probably why we don't have real. any of the even camera. The star, even the Starbucks incident, that the, at face value, it doesn't seem racial. Right, but it did they because you had so many anything. people saying, "What did they do?" Right, they that's didn't do when anything. it becomes that when all the other, hell, I've sat in Starbucks, mm-hmm. hadn't ordered anything, and no one's called the police on. But me. is that? But like, right. why is that make it okay? But they, for whatever understand. reason, for whatever reason, that manager had been excuse me singled out those two particular patrons. Maybe right, maybe or maybe everybody else there bought something. Could have been. Mm. Maybe everybody else there bought something. As I said, well, as everybody I said before, else happened to be there, and they said they didn't do anything. Include buy something. We didn't buy anything. We were just they didn't here say chilling. That. They didn't no, say that. Man, they didn't say that. That Starbucks they didn't is known that. for people pulling up. That Starbucks sitting is down known with for their it. laptop. Listen, man. You know, if, if I if I own something. a fucking business and I tell you go, just go. I don't have to. It's not racist. It's not. It's whatever I say because it's my shit. If I say go, just go. Why are every, is everybody so fucking hard headed? No, I <laughs> no. You can't tell me to go. It's America. I have rights. No, you don't. This is my fucking property. You don't have rights. Go now. You decide <laughs> Jeez, whether you want to be go. on the ground at fucking Waffle House with grease all over your titties. And then, and, but then You're it really becomes a why for the titties, you, aren't you? And and this is where it becomes. This is where it becomes <laughs> racial because the question becomes. Why did you single me out? Prove that, my nigga. Prove that. Why did you single me prove out? Prove that. If I kick you out my my business, prove that I did it because you're white or because you're Iranian. You can, prove that. You can if, prove that, though. No, you can't. Prove that. <laughs> well, it's circumstantial <laughs> so, evidence. If there's 40 white people in the room saying those guys didn't do anything, yeah. why did you pick You them? didn't hear what they did. When they came up to the counter, he said something to me. You didn't hear it. I, it you proved that. No, that's right. not You make up bullshit. You that's make up not. bullshit. But well, we all know what. Oh, make up bullshit? Of our, yeah, you, you mean like was, everybody that's complaining something about to something? Me, but you didn't Here's hear the thing. It. It's my business. Get the fuck out. Jeez. Case closed. I'm calling the cops if you don't leave. Oh, you're staying? Okay, the cops are coming. So I, All this other stuff, it doesn't even your, matter. We're not coming to your establishment. Whatever don't establishment come to my shit. you have. Your don't come. Sucks you're not, not even getting 120 fucking your seconds. Your service sucks and the food is <laughs> as shit. Soon as I, no, my and food I is bomb. I feel like there's a Confederate flag outside just a wave. Really? Just Outside of what? Of your establishment. You Oh, you mean the, the hypothetical one? Yes. Why the fuck would a Confederate flag be out there? You got I just don't like you. I love black people. You, like you. you better own like a rude restaurant like where you're like allowed to... Like the hot dog stand yeah, where you cuss like at you people. Allow the, Motherfucker, the hurry up and come get this dog. You gotta have one of those. Mess. No, but you have to... You, it's I your mean, brand. But if we break it down to the fucking... To the bottom, you have to understand that private property has to mean something. And if I don't want you How here... Come? It's stolen land anyway, motherfucker. Oh, oh my God, God, Kevin. It's stolen go. land anyway. Oh my God. You don't own it either. The Indians need to say something. Native Americans need to say something. <laughs> hey, 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 check yourself. Uh-huh. They need to say something. Uh-huh. You don't have a right to it either. It's, right. It, it so, ain't yours like it ain't mine. Right. So, God damn it, give me some fucking coffee. No. Oh, my God. Get out. Anyway. And some ma'am. Give me some white only pie. <laughs> some pie. I knew you were going to the pie. I want some of that white only Man, pie. Man, look. I'm telling we, you. We, ma'am, we are hungry. <laughs> yeah. You see, they got their ass on, though. You got damn right. That's what you're supposed they to do. They and did. it's not about. Maybe had a shotgun. Man. And it's not about being a simp do too. or a sucker. Who does that? It's not about being a sucker. That is not, it, it's not your establishment. Go get some. Why would you even want to be there if they're acting like that? I agree with that. Well, I would I, just, if you're going to charge me for some fucking plasticware, I don't even want to eat here. 
No, I mean, a lot of restaurants they have weird policy. Just threw that shit. No, that's don't do that because did. then that's that's criminal too. Like you throwing yeah, the food if you don't fuck, pay for oh, it. Oh, you gonna charge me for this shit? <clears throat> oh wow. Now see now then, then you see what I'm saying? This, yeah. this is what we have to deal with. This is why the police get called. <laughs> now I'm out. Now I'm out. Yeah, now you, now you get chased Kevin. down now, the street. Yeah, now now you've done something to the property and all. I ain't coming back to that shit no way. Fuck them. But for real though, the titties lost in all this. The real victim here are those titties or the guy whose titties those belong. You know what I'm saying? The guy who's those, those did t- belong to someone. She was a, she was a, yeah, okay. All right. So, you know, taking a totally different turn. <laughs> I, I I did an article for Upscale magazine and um because I think that I do I do pieces on relationships and Y'all didn't way- know Crystal is kind of a big deal. This was not a big deal, but the relationships between black men and black women primarily for upscale. And um, I had some conversations with the article was birthed from watching Charlemagne's. Um, we talked about that, his TV one uncensored interview where he acknowledged being um, molested by, I think, I believe his uncle's wife or his uncle's ex-wife, um, uncle or cousin's ex-wife. And he acknowledged that it happened when he was, Elementary school, he didn't, he knew something was wrong, but he kind of enjoyed it, so he didn't tell anybody. Um, He he did say the lady was hateful to him after a while, and so it stopped, but he never realized that, you know, he didn't think about it until he was older that that was, you know, was really a messed up situation. Um, And then also, comedian D. Ray Davis talked about, you know, some older women molesting him when he was younger. And I had a few. I had a talk. To, I had an opportunity to talk to a few men that had gone through the same thing. And um, actually, you just showed a clip that um, that I wasn't aware of of Mike Tyson acknowledging that he had also been molested um, as a child. And the point of the article was, and I, I want to hear you guys feedback on this. Men, especially African American men, or or men of color, because I think there's similar. Um, cultural traits in different minority groups, maybe Hispanics and things like that. But there's this idea of overhyped masculinity and the fact that we don't really allow boys to share when things happen to them. Um, One of the guys that I talked to, he is from New York, you know, uh, really a big guy, imposing figure. And he, he admitted being molested by his babysitter when he was six. And he said, you know, he didn't tell anyone. He said he he was afraid. He did not enjoy it. It was a female. Um, but he was afraid and um, that no one would care, you know, because as a boy, you're supposed to be tough. And so uh, the babysitter, she would actually make him perform oral sex on her. And he's like, when you're a six-year-old, you don't know what that is. You don't, it's not... It's not cool. And then later you hear, you know that, well, men are supposed to like that. So I'm supposed to, I can't complain about something that other guys will be like, oh man, you were lucky. You know what I mean? So he, he, you know, didn't share it uh, with anyone. Another guy. How did a babysitter look? Too soon? Another guy <laughs> acknowledged it happening from a, a stepbrother. And so he felt Obviously, his manhood was challenged, and so he became, you know, acted over, acted out when it come to, came to women. But the both of them d- learned to distrust people. And so within their lives, uh, they carried this baggage that they were never able to share with anybody. Um, and it, it definitely har- harbored a lot of distrust, one for women, another for men. The guy that was molested by guy, a guy, he always felt like he had to go over and above and beyond to show other men that he was a ladies' man. The guy that was molested by a woman, he said he felt like he was always trying to prove to women that he was he didn't trust women. It was just it, it left a lot of baggage that is that men don't talk about. Um, and there were two other guys I ended up talking to for the article that had experienced that as well. So I want to ask you guys: Do you think that first of all this? Osh issue is probably something that we is bigger than we than we talk about, right? And do you think that it is, I guess, big enough for people to need to kind of address it so that men feel comfortable and feel safe? Men that have been molested that are not in a living a homosexual lifestyle. Cause I think we hear a lot of men that are living a homosexual lifestyle come out and acknowledge this happened to them. But for a straight man that's supposed to represent this idea of masculinity, like someone like Mike Tyson, to admit that this happened to him as a child, 
it does something, you know, to uh, I guess society's view of him. Yeah. Or it could. This this is the first. This is not the first time. This is one of the times when I absolutely agree with how our ancestors were treated. A lot of times. People- 